What's up beautiful people? It's Chin and welcome to my first video on my YouTube channel. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Y'all been waiting on this video for a long time. But good things do come to those who wait. So I just want to give a huge shout out to everyone who have subscribed, all of you who shared the link. I really appreciate it. I love it when people can support you when you're here and so support you when you're here. Like I had no videos on my YouTube channel and y'all so supported. I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it so much. Alright, so this video really is about how I achieved this. Yeah. So Let me check out and show you. <laughs> Alright, so I it's not a hairstyle video. I know you're probably wondering, but from you see the title, you must know what kind of video it is. So it's just me bringing you or showing you uh, how I wash my hair. So it's not, a, I wouldn't say it's a routine hair wash video because the products that I'm using, it's actually the first time I'm using them and I'm testing them out to see how well they work with my hair. Um, so it's not a routine, like the shampoo and condition is routine, but I mean everything else is not really routine. But I just want to show you like, you know, washing my hair, how the products work in my hair and how they turn out. It's okay. Alright, before we get into the video though, I would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up, comment your thoughts and your video ideas in the comment section below. Subscribe and share and do not forget to turn on that post notification bell so whenever I upload, you will be notified. Also, do not forget to follow me on Instagram at underscore underscore chin with two ends. Chin with two ends. Alright, so without further rambling, let's get into this beauty, this video. Let's get into the video. So I am about to just take off the scarf off my hair. I usually tie my hair with this scarf in the night and Being that today is a wash day. I'm about to just show you what I do before So I usually pull out my hair and let it air out for a couple minutes So after pulling it out, I just walk around with my hair looking mad and just leave it like that so I'm just double checking to ensure that all the hairpins are out because what usually happens is that while walking, hairpin will just be falling out all over the place. And when, when I'm ready for the hairpins, I can't find it because I'm so lazy to take them up when they fall out. So you might be wondering what's that, that, that black thing that I used to catch on my hair. It's actually a stocking foot. If you know, you know. If you kind of know, then... Hmm. Comment, leave a comment in the comment section if you know what, what that is or why, why I use it. So I usually just double check to see all the areas that are, that have product build up so that when washing it, I can focus on those areas, on that area more, more to remove all the build up. So my hair is fully aired out and once again, I'm double checking to see if all the hairpins are out and I was just jamming to some music. Yep. So now I'm showing you the Tresemme shampoo and conditioner that I am trying. It's one that has to do with moisture. I will leave all the details in the description box below. So now I'm shampooing and it's best to shampoo your hair from the roots and let the water run to the ends of your hair. Now when detangling, do not do this. And this meaning do not detangle from your roots. It will tear out your hair. Now what I'm doing right here is the proper way to detangle your hair and that's actually detangling from your ends up to your roots. 
After detangling, I usually just twist my hair up just to section it off or get it out of the way so it don't get mixed up with all the other hair that I haven't actually started to detangle. So I'm just sectioning off my hair again and my hair usually dries very quickly and I have to keep adding more conditioner. Sometimes I have to wet the hair once, once again to get it moist so that I can comb it out. If you don't know, water is a very natural hydrating component to your hair. So, you know, if your hair getting dry, adding a little water helps. Adding a, a little water each day actually helps. So I'm just continuing to detangle from the ends of the hair to the roots. And I'm just playing around G's and P's just to see how I would actually look with curly bangs. I super love how curly or how defined my curls are after detangling. So all of the hair was getting mixed up with the other hair that I was trying to comb out. So I just sectioned that, the twist, the twist with an elastic band. So I'm just giving you a close-up as to how defined the curls are after really detangling and how soft and smooth it is. So now after detangling, I'm just going to twist this up and I usually use the conditioner in my hair for a couple minutes. So I'm just going to section all of that away and move on to something else. So I'm about to show you all the products that I bought and I'm about that I'm about to use. And this hair mask smells so good. It actually looks like peanut butter, but it smells really good. This is a leave -in shake miracle leave-in condition. I've never tried this before. But now I'm showing you because of the method that I use to detangle, as you can see, I don't have a lot of hair. You know, a lot of hair didn't come out from combing out my hair. This brush is a lifesaver. From I've had it, I've had it over a year now. And it has actually made my life way easier. It's less time consuming and easier to detangle my hair. Once you use the method that I, I advise, probably any detangler brush can actually help with that. So now as you can see, all of my hair is fully detangled and soft. I'm just playing around with the hair. So <laughs> I hope you can see I'm actually feeling myself. Like my hair looks really nice and I love the length and how defined the curls are. And it feels super lightweighted and soft. So I'm just kind of taking this all in, you know, because when it dries, it's not going to look so. When it dries, it's going to be, you know, going to shrink and I'm going to have this length. So I'm just enjoying it. So now I've just washed out the conditioner and I'm going to add in the hair mask. Now the instructions, because I don't really know how to do these things. So I have to always read the instructions on the jars or the bottles. Instructions say I should apply evenly from the roots to the end and when I see that or when I see that see or hear that in form of instruction I'm thinking I should section my hair off to ensure that it's applied evenly but I'm not going to do that because I don't have time for that so my hair is a lot and if I actually do that all of that hair mask will finish in this one hair wash so I'm just applying it like I would with my conditioner applying it to the front the back the ends the middle as you can see, the ends of my hair is actually my the ends of my hair are actually bleached. 
so even when I apply moisturizing product it actually still looks dry so I'm applying more hair mask to the ends so that it can actually help with applying moisture so I'm just rubbing it all in and the bot the jar said I should actually leave in for five to ten minutes and then rings but I actually left it in for more than two hours and you'll see how my hair actually looks and it's dry right now. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to wash you, watch me wash my hair. Most of it was really detangling as you can see. This is a lot of hair. So it takes a lot of work and a lot of time to detangle. I hope you probably have learned something from it, you know. But uh, also, if you want me to review the products that I use, especially this one, the hair mask, if you want me to review it, please leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll definitely do a video on that just for you guys all right so as you can see my hair is fully dry and i super love the curls like just let's just take it in <laughs> all right so remember to follow me on Instagram at underscore underscore chin with two N's and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time.